So I was thinking, I kind of want to switch up my playstyle a little bit and kind of play like a kitey weapon. Because pretty much all the weapons I've played is either brawl or like one shot. So I thought curse, because I do have really good curse spec. And demonic does have really good kite. And I was thinking, what's more annoying than getting close to a demonic staff and them eating you? When you get close to someone and they assassin jacket. What's even more annoying than them getting close to you and assassin jacketing? When they have two of them. <laughs> and to be even more annoying, the boots that you can't run away from. This is going to be absolutely disgusting. Let's see how it goes. Well, let's see the dismount potential. But I think it actually will have good dismount potential if I can hit a root then charge boots. Oh, you think you want to spam me? Nope. Nope. The thing is, a fire staff build like that would be annoying for a lot of builds. <laughs> Not for double with that subjective. Oh, you come in real hot. Bro, my son's check it activated so fucking. I think I can kill this guy though. Either that or I'm just gonna get absolutely murked here. Oh, that's good. The double assassin deck is actually just so annoying for them. And then I have road boots to finish it. It's still below there, so it's gonna be tough, but... Oh, has he accepted his fate? Okay, that's good. I gotta tick on him. One of my curse stacks was what propped... There we go. If one of the curse stacks you hit, damage from the actual curse stack, hitting them, is what procs their undead, nine times out of ten they die to the curse decks. Which is really nice. Probably got no attunements too. We take those. The dub could the most annoying build out there. Oh one of them. Is he gonna fall for the big AFK strat? He's falling for it. There's a gentleman, I believe we got him. Honestly, I'll let him this one with that. I don't think it'll really matter, honestly. Oh, buddy, and you burned your Mistwalker so early. He's also got War Open, but he's taking so much mob background. And he's taking such an inefficient path. Like for the amount of mob aggro he took, he should have he should have taken a lot more direct path. But if he was gonna take the mob aggro anyway, might as well. Come on, bro, die. Yeah, he dies to curse that. Let's go. Ah damn. Infinity Blade trashed. How much is a fourth a four three infinity blade? I think it's at least like half a mil or something. Alright. I'm uh, gonna get him. And turn to the boots. And keep pace with him. But this actually works so fucking well. <laughs> you wouldn't really think a curse staff would actually be like really good at dismount, but. Demonic, actually really good. And I guess one hand curse is good. But Royal Boots is actually kind of a surprise. There's just so much damage, like, there's nothing they can do.
pike build can definitely be annoying. It's kind of like a cheese kind of pike build. Cheap, but does like a shit ton of damage. Sight block, what do you mean? And you see these are just Bro, I'm like screwing over every part of his combo. <laughs> and it is. Let the curse deck do their work. Bop. Let's go. The double assassin jet actually just screws over so many builds. Say a good fight. If he actually fights. Oh, looks like he will. Uh, definitely a build that could be annoying though. The idea behind this build is kind of just like get four stacks. Then Assassin Jack and just kind of like let the stack do the work. This guy definitely does good bit damage. Okay. Um, sure. Glad they're going for him. Did he get? Oh, he's up there. I think we both just probably get out here. He mounted. Please let me mount. Nothing good. Now, this guy's OC'd now. Which hopefully means he will be more committed to a potential fight. Finally, bro. Took some convincing. Uh, I'm gonna try and see if I can do it without OC, but probably gonna need to. Mm. Yeah, very lucky on that stalker deck. Let me out, man. Please. I think I get out. Okay, yeah, I'm good. Whew. Okay, yeah, I think I I need to see. Definitely gonna need to see for this one. Grudge is the way to go. This is bad. This is bad. Uh, thank God for row boots. I can just have running. I think I. Hmm, honestly, armor piercer might be the way to go, honestly. Because I just need. Ooh, Holy shit, that was close. Yeah, I think I might need to go armor piercer for this. Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like Armfish is gonna be the move because I just need to kind of, kind of poke him. I need just quick damage on him. Also, I feel like early Gig Pod is gonna be the way to go. The armor piercer and E hits are gonna be big. Uh, that's annoying that it didn't reapply the fourth sack. That just gave him another one sack. Oh, he's on soldier boots now. Oh, under cape might save my life here. Ooh, that didn't hit. That is that is bad. Oh, he backed off. Hmm. I mean, I guess we're resetting. I'll... Honestly, I'm fine with it. That can, That's kind of a proof of concept. I know I can kill him now. Uh, if I can just get, like, nice little pokes like that, that's gonna be big. It's actually a pretty decent start for me. Pretty gig. Right out the hunter. Oh, this is going way better. Holy, that's a lot of damage. Uh, don't want to undedicate to be nerfing the damage of that pierce. Oh, this is bad. Nope. Yes! Holy shit, that was close. <laughs> Whew. GG to that guy. <laughs> Bro, we fought like six times. Jesus.